Hey guys, I'm just sitting out here on my front step with my uh, buddy reading Police Stories by Chief Berrigan, which is a small town uh, that I live in. He was the chief of police, and so he's written about many crimes and things that have happened. Well, guys, I've just had a coincidental thing happen that I don't think is coincidence. Synchronicity? I don't know. Um, I think I found the next case that I want to just, you know, do a little one episode on. And it's a sad one. It's it's bad. But the reason why, guys, I, I want to do that is because I'm reading this story on Susan Hope, who was a three-year-old that back in 1953 was abducted, um, kind of. Her mom was with her and her mom ran out of the store that they were in and left her with a stranger while she went to talk to police officers about her missing husband. And there's some debate, you know, that the mom had drank a bottle of wine with the stranger down on the beach. There was a section back in the day, 1953, that the main beach down here at the waterfront was like a hobo village. And the, the mom and Susan Hope, the daughter, had come to town to find the father. And he wasn't there in the hobo village. So then the wife got thinking, well, maybe he was thrown in jail for drinking or something, right? Anyway, the, uh, the little girl was abducted, I guess, from the store that she was left in with this, by this stranger. And uh, bad things happened to her, and then she was murdered. But here's, here's the part that was a synchronicity. I'm not even going to say it was a coincidence, guys, because there are, are no coincidences. Okay? Today is June 12th, 2023. The police commission responded quickly to the complaints by ordering a public inquiry into the action of the members of the police service. The inquiry was scheduled for June 12th, 1953, 70 years to the day I'm reading about this case. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think this is uh, something that we should investigate through our paranormal files, and we're going to do it. Maybe I'll even read, you know, the best thing to do is maybe read you guys this case, and uh, then we'll do some investigative searching through... Uh, paper, newspaper clippings and whatnot, and we'll do a spirit box session on it and see. I, I just think it's a it's a cool case. There's some weird things that went on, and there's that's not a coincidence. That's 70 years to the day I'm reading about it. Good morning, guys. Up bright and early. Today we are gonna hit the golf course. Yeah. So Gary's getting serious about getting in shape. Uh, baseball tonight at 8.30 and we're going to golf this morning at 9 and I'm going to look at golf as the summer gym membership because I'm going to walk only. No carts. So today is the first day I'm hoping to go, I don't know, like 70 times. So that's the plan. I wanted to show you guys something. See the paint missing on my wall right there? Some dummy, one of my kids, threw spaghetti against the wall and then left it there. And so it was a hard piece of spaghetti and I grabbed it and I peeled it off and the paint came off the wall and I, so I'm telling my wife this morning, I'm like, ah, oh, can you believe these kids? And my wife does this. And I knew it was her. This is what I'm dealing with around here. <laughs> so to de-stress, Gary's gonna go hit the golf course. And sorry Gage, we'll have to go for a motorcycle ride later or something because <laughs> you don't golf. Couldn't ask for a nicer day to golf. So I've got all the clubs that a guy could ever need and somehow I will still manage to shoot over a hundred. Golf works like this guys. They tell you how many times you should swing a club on a course. That's called par. This particular course that I am now a member of, par is 76. Gary golfed 110 the first outing of the year. <laughs> and 109 the second outing of the year. So the goal is simply to improve every time I go, or at least by the end of the season. So I've hit upon a little um, secret late in my golf career. No, it's not Wilson balls or ultra 500s. 
women's balls. Yeah, you want a little extra distance. You know, when Tom's not looking, I just put one of these on the tee. Gary, man, you killed that one. Yes, Tom, yes, I did. All right, guys, I'll see you on the course. All right, guys, not shooting too bad. Five, a four, a seven. Um, I'll give you the halftime score here, but what I wanted to do is just mention on the channel, upcoming this weekend, Grant and I went out and did a kind of spur of the moment paranormal investigation, and it's gonna be multi-part, and you're gonna to have to watch his channel and mine, so I'll give you guys links when I post mine Friday at three, okay? There'll be a video on each channel, and there'll be a link to his channel uh, in the description of my video, okay? So also coming up on the channel, guys, we've got, uh, I'm continuing on with the Carol and Jack stuff. Obviously, we're gonna be doing some more reversed messages from the dead and uh, try to get those courthouse documents sooner rather than later. So also we've got, of course, the Costa Rica Photographer Abroad series. That's the video that uh, went up this week, number four. I have number five edited. It will be coming up on the channel. Um, so maybe one more after that. I have enough photos and video stuff left. So that's coming up. And then of course metal detecting. I am halfway through a video. It's been so tough to get out guys metal detecting. I just don't have the drive to do it because I'm not going after history. I'm just kind of going around town. And so I'm trying to make them humorous and get out and do what we can. But uh, this season, season seven, metal detecting is a little slower, but uh, check out the other channels, guys. I'll mention that right now. Unfrequented World, obviously, is this channel, but we also run Bigfooter Gary, and we also run Lost Treasures, Metal Detecting. Um, all kinds of different adventures on all three channels. I'll put links to those in the description as well. All right, guys. Par is 36. I hit 47, but that's my best first half ever. Moment of truth, 18, and he's actually going for bird. Well, I three-putted that for a bogey, so five on 18. <laughs> Woo! Even with the bogey again on 18, and trust me, bogey was a pretty standard shot today. I shot 51 on the back, 47 on the front, for a total of 98, and that was with no mulligans. That's an extra shot for all you rookies out there. I didn't take any extra shots. 98. I'll take it. All right, guys, 100 degrees in the truck here, but I have to be happy with that. The goal was to break 100 at some point this season. First outing on the membership, and I did it, so does that leave me anywhere to go? Yeah, it does, 95. <laughs> and super importantly, 11,200 steps. So that's the main goal of the golf season, is to use it like a gym membership, and Gary's gonna drop some weight. That's the plan. Just dropped Kaylee off at volleyball and there's a traffic jam on my driveway here. All right, I'm gonna need both of you guys to move along. One. Move. You two. You too, move along. You don't need to lay eggs on my driveway. Go on. I don't want to squish you. <laughs> 